guys. Today I'd like to show you three very quick and easy hair steps. They're perfect for those who are running out of time, perhaps running late for school, university, college or work, or for those who just like to sleep in the morning. Simply because they take just a couple of minutes to do. The first hairstyle works on pretty much any hair length, so medium length hair is perfectly fine, while the other two are hairstyles for long hair. And my own hair wouldn't be long and thick enough for them. So in this video I'll be wearing my glands and clipping hair extensions. As usual I'm using dark and platinum blonde wets to create an effect of instant highlights. For the first hairstyle I pick three strands of hair next to my parting and start creating a regular French braid. So I cross the outer strand over the middle one and add some loose hair from the sides. I keep on braiding like this till I get to the left side of my forehead. But in theory you could actually grab all the hair that lies above your forehead and start creating the braid from the following step. At this point I'm going to stop adding loose hair from the left and on the right side I'm going to do something different too. So after I bring the right strand in the middle, I pick a very thin strand of hair and also add it to the middle strand. But here I want to form a loop, so I delicately tug on this strand to shape it the way I want. And then I simply bring the left strand in the middle. I bring the right strand in the middle and again I pick a new thin strand of hair and add it to the middle strand in such a way so that it forms a loop. I keep on repeating the steps till I reach the desired length of my braids. And one thing that is very important in case of this hairstyle is to keep your braids horizontal. Because if you bring it down and uh, if it becomes vertical, the loops will be deformed. I cross, I cross and I add. Once I like my braid, I secure it with a small elastic band and at this point you can actually choose how you want to style it. So you could just secure the single braid at the back of your head or you could also create a symmetric braid on the other side and tie them together. But that's what I'm going to do in this video. And voila, this is the first hairstyle. Of course, this version is going to take twice more time, so if you're running late, you can settle with just a single braid. Now for the second hairstyle, I section a strand of hair and create a regular three strands braid. If you have more time on your hands, you could actually create a fishtail braid and then your hairstyle would look even more beautiful. Then I create the second braid, which should look exactly like the first one. Next, you want to tie your remaining hair with a small elastic. Divide your ponytail in two equal parts, bring them behind your braids and tie them over there with another elastic band. Now grab your braids, bring them behind your ponytail and also tie them together. Now you want to repeat the steps many times. So you split your ponytail into parts, bring them behind your braids, merge together and tie together with an elastic. At this point you can actually tug on the sides of your braid to give it the desired shape and volume. The braid that I'm going to show you today is similar to a pull-through braid, but we're not pulling anything through, we're actually splitting the hair and the braids and tying them together, so that's why I like to call this braid a split braid. And since we incorporate small braids into a big braid, I like to call it a fusion braid. A fusion split braid. That's what your hair should look like once you're done. Personally, I prefer the version with fishtail braids, but it takes much more time to do. So if you're running late, the version from this video is more practical. And finally, for the third hairstyle, I'm going to put my hair into a high ponytail using my glam time clipping extensions. In one of my previous videos, I have already shown you how I attach the extensions to create such a ponytail, so feel free to check it out. My extensions are simply my lifesavers. I'm going to divide my ponytail in two equal parts, split each of these parts in two again, and then create a regular rope braid. So I twist each section toward my face, and I twist the sections around each other in the opposite direction away from my face. So the hair goes toward my face, 
and the sections are twisted away from my face. I'm going to tie the ends of this braid with a small elastic band and use the second section of my hair to create an identical braid. Now I'm going to show you a hairstyle that I didn't plan to be showing in this video, but finally why not? If you're going to grab these two braids and twist them toward your face, just like this, you're going to obtain a very unique looking braid. It's perfect for people with very thick and long hair. It looks a kind of edgy and very unique. You can simply transform it into a bun, simply twisting it around the base of your ponytail. Something like this. But the hairstyle that I wanted to show you today is a different one. It's actually a bun, you can do it in different manners to get slightly different results. So for example, you could wrap the first braid completely and then the second braid around it completely. But what I prefer to do recently is to firstly wrap the first braid halfway, secure it in place, then wrap the second braid around it halfway, also secure it in place, then grab the ends of the first braid and wrap it around my bun, and finally, finish off this hairstyle wrapping the second braid around the bun. This way I get to position the finer elements of my row braid in front and have a nicer contrast between the coarser and the finer segments. This is the finished look. And if you're going to try out any of these looks, show me your results on Instagram. Let me know in the comments below this video which look you liked most. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. Bye!